Oh, you caught me. Don't let your kids watch it. First up on this list, good looking guys don't neglect their nose hair. What am I talking about? Your nose stash. Let me show you. So if you're a tall guy or if you're five foot six and your girlfriend is five foot one, this is how she sees you. Yeah, when you get close, those hairs coming out of your nose look like a full on mustache. So to prevent this, purchase and use nose grooming tools. You've got simple ones that are battery operated or you can go with one that's never gonna run out of batteries that's manually operated. In today's video, gents, we're talking about things that handsome guys never do. I get it, you're human, you got something in your nose. But where nose picking becomes an issue is when it becomes a habit and you don't even realize you're picking your nose in front of other people. Seriously, I have a friend that has a nose picking habit and he didn't even realize he was doing this right in front of me and my wife at the dinner table. How to break this habit? Well, like any bad habit, you first need to realize you have it and then you need to practice good habits. Have tissue boxes around and simply use tissue when you're cleaning out your nose. Now, this next one disgusts a lot of people and let me know down in the comments if you agree. What am I talking about? Spitting. I can't even do it. <laughs> Back in high school, I had a friend that smoked and he would spit out the most disgusting loogies all the time. It was just, it was nasty. Now I get it. If you got to get something out of your mouth, if you got congested lungs, of course, spit. However, for most spitters, it's just a habit. Something they've done since they were younger, when they played sports, when they wanted to mark their territory. Now me personally, I rarely spit. <laughs> Even if I'm out on a long run engaging in exercise, it's just something I rarely ever do. But I'm curious, do you guys agree, disagree? Let me know down in the comments. The next thing attractive men don't do, they don't whine and they don't complain. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're being abused, if you're in an untenable situation, you probably need to let somebody know. What I'm talking about here is the guy that makes complaining a habit. You know who I'm talking about. No matter what happens to this guy, he's always got a reason why life has dealt him tough cards and it's everyone else's fault but his. This guy's always finding an excuse and he's very consistent about putting the blame on others. And speaking of excuses, let me tell you how I fell into that trap just last month. So this year, I've set a goal to get into the best shape of my life. I'm in the gym, lifting, going into a deep squat and all of a sudden, I feel that pain that I recognize. Oh my God. I just strained my lower back. I'm limping around all weekend like a baby and on Monday, I go and see my chiropractor. She works on my back, gives me a series of stretches I need to be doing multiple times a day and she tells me, use a heat pad, use an ice pack, rotate between them so that you recover quicker. Now, in the past, I've ignored this because I don't have the time to lay on my bed with that heat and cold pack to be able to rotate between the two. I got to get work done. But check this out. Two months before, I'd received this Vector Lumbar Support from Bioskin and it worked perfectly. Seriously, not only does it provide targeted compression to help deal with lower back pain, but it also has a back panel where you can put in a hot or cold gel pack. Now, gents, Bioskin is a sponsor of today's video and for over 25 years, these guys have been providing premium sports medicine products to pro sport teams and premier orthopedic clinics all over the world. Seriously, when we were looking to work with these guys, I had one of the guys on my team say, wait a minute, Bioskin, I've been using their products for over a decade because he has some physical issues. He goes in, he sees a therapist and he's like, this is the product that my therapist recommends. They are the best out there. So I was proud to bring them on as a sponsor. Another issue I've been dealing with and any of you guys that are gamers, any of you guys that spend a lot of time on a computer, you know what I'm talking about carpal tunnel syndrome. I've had a mild case where the medium nerve in my wrist has been irritating me. Well, guess what? Bioskin sent me these premium wrist braces, which stabilize the joint and prevent inflammation around the nerve. Now, some of you guys are thinking, come on, Antonio, what's happening? You're falling apart. I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. No, I, I just simply, you know, I've lived life. I've pushed my body. And I know a lot of you guys are dealing with issues in your knees. Maybe you've got something over in your ankles. What I love about Bioskin is you can go through the website and you can actually search by injury and they will recommend certain devices and make sure you can get the job done so you don't complain. But if your body's in perfect shape and you're not complaining about anything, well, how does that mask fit you? Yeah, we all got to be wearing masks nowadays. These masks from Bioskin are the most comfortable masks I've ever worn. Now, Bioskin makes a variety of masks. As you can see here, they've got the ear loop mask and notice right here, it's got the bendable nose piece. If you're wearing glasses, you want to make sure you buy a mask with that bendable nose piece so it fits tightly around the nose and it helps to prevent fogging. Now, they've also got a double layer ear loop mask. This one is for the person that wants a bit more protection. Next up, let's talk about their tie behind mask. Absolutely love this Paisley. For me, this is their most comfortable mask. They've also got kid masks, which are made smaller so they better fit on the face. As a parent, 
I appreciate that. Gents, I'm linking the BioSkin down in the description of today's video with the best deal out there on the web. It's not going to be around forever. Go check out this deal. This is a cool family-run business. Awesome company. Proud to support them. Next up, handsome guys do not neglect their nails. Seriously, there are entire subreddits of women talking about the poor nail grooming habits of some of their colleagues. Seriously, gents, don't tell me that some of you guys are growing your pinky nail long so you can better pick your nose. Gents, if you don't own one, go out there and buy a nail grooming set. Now, it doesn't have to be as extensive as this one, but at a bare minimum, you should have a pair of clippers, scissors, and a file. Oh, and a nail brush for good measure. Next, handsome guys don't boast. I get it. You're a badass. You've traveled the world flying first class everywhere. You can bench twice your body weight and it's fine to be proud of who you are and what you've accomplished. But when it becomes boastful, especially whenever you're putting down others, you're always one-upping others. That person is talking about how they're getting in better shape. Oh, you should see me. Like I can do a marathon. I can do an Ironman. It wasn't about you and that's where it starts to get, I think, really unattractive because all of a sudden you're annoying to people. You are simply, you know, trying to one up them and no one wants that person around them. Now, gents, if you're enjoying today's video, do me a favor, smash that like button. By engaging with these videos, you help them reach more men. Next up, handsome guys, they don't leave a mess. They leave things in a nicer state than when they found them. An example, you go to the office bathroom and you drop a deuce. Can't do anything about the smell. I get it. But what about those stains in the toilet? Gents, this is a toilet brush. Learn how to use it. This is toilet paper. Wipe the seat off when you're done. Another example, the gym. If you're strong enough to put the weights on the bar, you're strong enough to take them off the bar and to put them away. Now, this next one I'm guilty of and I admit it and that is interrupting other people. I mean, sometimes I'm listening and I get so excited, I hear a point and I want to add to it. I want to come off as smart and I stop listening to them and I immediately want to throw in my point. I'm basically waiting for my turn to speak and as soon as there's a small break or if there's not, I just find a way to interject my words. Take a step back and let that person speak because people want to be heard. They want to be understood and it is there is a way to have a civil conversation without interrupting people all the time. So, what video to watch next? How about the style mistakes that guys keep making again and again? Seriously, gents, we need to stop making these mistakes. What am I talking about? Find out in this video right here.